today on Reddit, I made a post about using the Steam Deck for couch co-op. I had run into some issues when I brought my Steam Deck over to my friend's place and hooked it up to a 4K TV. I ran into some issues with performance, mostly due to, I think, the 4K resolution. I also ran into some issues getting into big picture mode. The last issue I ran into was with controller ordering, which I'll explain, but basically the controllers weren't working. Once I had figured out workarounds for all of these issues, everything worked perfectly and we were able to have a great time. So quickly, this is gonna be the steps that you're gonna to need to do to pull this off if you run into similar issues. I tried some USB-C hubs that I had lying around and those did not work. So I will leave a link for the USB-C hub that I have that works. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is in game mode, which is the regular boot mode for the Steam Deck, you're going to go, want to go to Settings, Bluetooth, and you're going to want to put your device into pairing mode. You don't have to be hooked up to a screen to do this. You can do this with just the Steam Deck. So here I'm putting my PS5 controller into pairing mode. You'll see that it popped right up. You click it in the Steam Deck, and it's paired. Now you can see it's working perfectly fine as a controller. So now we're gonna go into desktop mode. So that's power and then switch to desktop. So when you're in desktop mode, you can use the trackpads on the Steam Deck itself to navigate. The clicking the right trackpad will actually do a left click and clicking the left trackpad will do a right click. Um, so you're gonna wanna go find the icon for system settings in the bottom of corner and you're just gonna click down the right pad. I think I'm using a shortcut here, uh, but you can scroll that left slider down and under hardware, see display and monitor configuration. So here I've just zoomed in on the display and monitor display configuration menu, and I'm changing the screen that I'm using currently from 1440p to 1080p. So that's 1920 by 1080. I also am changing the refresh rate to 60 Hertz. I recommend making the TV screen the primary screen. Uh, I also disabled my Steam Deck screen. There should be a pop-up where you need to click keep on the display configuration after you've set it. Now I'm about to show you a, a, a bug. So do not do this, but do not click big picture directly on the screen because you'll notice that it doesn't boot if you do that. If you end up in this state, you're gonna wanna restart your Steam Deck um, or kill the Steam process directly, but that's more complicated. So I've skipped ahead here. I took me a little while to figure out that issue. What you need to do is basically click the Steam uh, icon and open Steam first before you enter big picture mode, and then big picture mode works. So this is me in desktop mode. I've just launched Steam. I'm double checking my um, display settings here. So making sure that the display is 1080 and 60, and then I launch into big picture. So you definitely are gonna to wanna to use big picture mode. And the reason, uh, the first reason is, is it's really hard to control the desktop mode without a keyboard and mouse attached. So big picture mode is controller friendly. Now, the second reason why you're gonna to wanna to use big picture mode is because you can change controller ordering, which is really important. And you'll see why in a second. So really quick, I need to explain how controller ordering works, which you can change in big picture mode in game. So the current state is that the Steam Deck is being treated as the first player and the PS5 is being treated as a second player. What we need to do is actually make the PS5 the first player. Um, as you'll see, not being the first player actually causes issues with being able to control the game. It's important to note that the Steam Deck controls are called Neptune and you may see that in the menus. I'm going to boot into Heave Ho, which is a game that is a funny local co-op game that you can play with a lot of people. So all the menus work totally fine, but then when you actually go to try and play as the first player, it's not actually working. What you need to do is when you're in game, you hit the Steam button, controller options, and then there's a button called rearrange controller order. And there you can mess with the actual controller ordering. So you, what you want to do is make the PS5 the number one. And if you have more players, you just basically want to move Neptune to the bottom unless you're actually using Neptune. So now you'll see all the menus work, but in addition, I can actually play the game because I'm using the PS5 controllers, the player one. 
as mentioned, if you have you know your friends over and you have four players, you're going to want to move Neptune to the you no know, the fifth player so that all of the controllers that are paired up work. Yeah, so now everything is working great. You should be able to play with your friends. Uh, we're in big picture mode. We fixed the controller ordering. The resolution is 1080p. I skipped ahead to a good run here where I just yeet myself over. But yeah, everything's working fine. I did want to mention there were some other issues that I saw, but that were easily fixed. Um, when I booted the Steam Deck with HDMI plugged in, the, the sometimes it would be scaled up and it would be hard to basically see what's going on on the screen. Uh, so I would just unplug and replug the adapter and that fixed that. And then also one time when I tried to boot, it just kind of was a blank screen. Uh, and I unplugged and replugged the adapter and kind of held the power button to try and power cycle it. And that seemed to have fixed it and eventually it, it booted just fine. So overall, once you understand how to get everything working, it works great. You won't have to repair your controllers too often, hopefully. You also won't need to hopefully change the display resolution too often. But you know, these are things that I would expect will get fixed in software updates and potentially even just be able to run directly out of game mode and force a resolution. Let me know if this was helpful. Uh, I hope it saves some other people from some pain.